All right, look, man. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tell y'all the real. I'm gonna tell y'all what's up. At some point during this journey, at some point during your spiritual awakening, you're gonna face detachment. You're gonna face um, a, a reality of realizing that to step out, to step onto that next level, you're gonna have to detach from everything that you've you've created on this planet, from everything that you created on this earth. So that girl that you putting on a pedestal, that female that you you know, you going home to every day and you saying you I love you and this and that, you putting on this pedestal. If you really taking this spiritual shit seriously and you really want to cross over to that next that next realm when you die, you're gonna have to detach from her. You're gonna have to detach from everything that gives you that that gives you life because you gotta you have to figure out how to give yourself life. That's the only way you can step over into the next realm. That's the only way you can step over into the to 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 level up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because God has to know that you can be alone. God has to know that you can be happy by yourself. The creator has to know that you can be happy by yourself. He has to know that you can be solid and you can stand 10 toes by yourself. You don't need somebody in your corner. You got what I'm saying? Not to say that he won't put somebody in your corner for you, but he has to at least know that you can hold your own. Because the thing about it is, man, is that this, this shit gets tricky. This, this world gets tricky, bro. And, and the thing about it is, is that there's going to be certain moments where you're going to have to fend for yourself. There's going to be certain dark dark paths and dark tunnels that you're going to have to go down for, by yourself. And you ain't going to have nobody with you. So that's why, why you think they say, why you think they say it's lonely at the top? Why you think they got that saying when they be like, it's lonely at the top? Because it gets lonely at the top, bro. Not, I told y'all, man, it's a 1%. It's a 1%. Not everybody makes it to the top. So when you're at the top, you automatically stand out. Not only can the creator see you, but them demons, they can see you too. Them demons, they see you too. So it, it gets lonely at the top, bro. Not everybody's going to make it to the top because not everybody has this knowledge. And even if they got this knowledge, they're not using it. They're not taking it seriously. So if you, ha if you happen to be the, the, the outlier, you happen to be the 1% that's going to take it to the next level. You get what I'm saying? Your whole family might be asleep, but you that one person in your family that you about to take it to the next level. You about to go from... You about to go from level one to level 100. There's a good chance that by the time you get to level 100, you're going to be the last one left. Ain't nobody going to be in your corner. And it's a scary reality, but it's the truth, bro. Because not everybody's not trying to wake up. Everybody's not trying to, 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 to become a, a greater, higher being. So a lot of these people, man, a lot of these people, they coming back here. If y'all don't know about reincarnation, man, y'all got to study reincarnation. You got to understand, man, you are here for a purpose. You are here for a job. If you don't get the, if you don't get your purpose done, you gotta come back and you gotta do it again. But you might come back in a different family. You might come back as a different skin tone. You get what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. There's like the creator works in very mysterious ways. There's no telling what you'll come back as, but you're gonna have to come back. So you got this opportunity now. You got this opportunity to don't wait until you come back as a as a tiger. You got this opportunity now as a human to do what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? to go on this spiritual journey and awaken, especially during this time period right now where spirituality is, I wouldn't necessarily say it's popular, but it's just one, it's just like, it, it's, it's not looked at as crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like people are actually like starting to understand this shit. So this is the best time to, to take it seriously, bro. This is the best time to go on it and unlock your chakras. But understand this though, Under, please understand this though. When you go on this journey, man, it's not no going back. It's not no turning back. This is why I preach, man, stop being a simp, stop being a lover boy, bro. Because the thing about it is that puts you, you know, when y'all when y'all are so attached to these females, bro, and y'all giving these these females so much validation, bro, you're simultaneously, like, you, bro, you a lover boy, bro. You a lover boy. And the thing about being a lover boy is, like, when you face detachment, when you face that level in this, in this path of detachment, you're not going to make it, bro. It's going to be a very, very hard level for you, bro, because you're going you gonna to have to detach from, you know, a girl that you that you are in love with and for a lot of y'all you know if you've never been in love and love is like an infatuation you get what i'm saying it's like a it's like a feeling that you get you almost feel like you're tied with somebody so imagine when you get to the you know if you if you're tied to somebody it's gonna be very hard to detach bro i'm not gonna lie to you so that's why a lot of y'all man y'all gotta stay focused and stay on your own paths stop being so focused about trying to find that female in your life stop being so focused about trying to worrying about being lonely and stuff like that bro you got you you bro you you got to understand that the creator will give you the love that you need he will give you he will give you the love that you need if you tap in with him from the inside 
He will make you feel whole, bro. You could be, bro, you could live the next 20 years by yourself, but you could still feel whole. You could still feel like somebody's there with you because somebody actually is there with you, bro. Somebody is there with you. But y'all need to understand this. Y'all need to realize this is that you don't need, you don't need um, a female in your life to, to make you feel whole. You got what I'm saying? I'm not saying that, I'm not saying, oh, be lonely. I'm not saying that you got to walk around, you know, being angry and saying, fuck, you know, fuck all females and this. And I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is that y'all have to understand how to be for yourselves. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you want to cross over to that next level, because you have to make a connection with the creator. You have to make a connection with yourself because the creator, he lives within you. So you got to make a connection with yourself first. That's first and foremost. So you could tap in, bro. All I'm telling y'all, man, is to tap in, bro. Tap it. You don't want to come back here, bro. You ha this isn't the first time you've been here. Why do you think they? Why do you think they have the saying "old souls"? Why do you think they say "old souls"? You like they didn't just make that out of thin air, bro. That's why they had that saying called "old souls." That's why some people they say have old souls, like they've been here before, because they really have been here before, bro. They really have been here before. And that's what I'm trying to explain y'all, man. A lot of y'all, y'all have been here before. Y'all just reincarnated because you haven't figured it out. You're not figuring it out. So you keep getting sent back here. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, you do not want to get sent back here. <clears throat> y'all think, oh, when you die, it's just heaven or hell. No, bro. Heaven is a process. Heaven is a, heaven is a journey, bro. Heaven isn't, heaven isn't just, oh, you beat level one and now you in heaven. No, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta make it all the way to level 10. You got to beat the master at level 10 and then you can get to heaven and then you can get to infinite happiness, infinite love. You got what I'm saying? You can get there, bro, but you got to make it off earth first. You got to make it off here first, bro. You got what I'm saying? The only way to do that, man, is you got to stop. Like you got to detach from certain things, bro. You got to stop letting, letting certain things control you and letting certain things consume you, bro. And that's what I'm understanding. I'm starting to realize now. I'm not just speaking to y'all, but I'm starting to understand this myself. Like. A lot of y'all, y'all have, y'all have so much potential and y'all have so much power, but you're giving it to the next person because instead of understanding your power and realizing your worth as, as this infinite being, you know, you're, you're giving it to, to a bunch of people that just really, that don't deserve it, bro. You're giving it to a bunch of people who aren't even tapped into themselves and they just, they consuming your energy and then going the other way. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of y'all, man, y'all have to understand that, man, for real. And if you got to, if, 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 shit, if it's lonely at the top, it's lonely at the top. But you at the top, though, you at the top, though, understand that the creator works in mysterious ways. He might make you appear lonely on the physical to everybody else. But inside, you could be happy as can be. Inside, you could be, you could have um, somebody with you in the inside. Like, he, he'll, he'll be there with you. Even when you at the top, he'll be there with you. To the outside world, it might seem like you alone, but inside you not, bro. And so you gotta understand, man. The creator works in mysterious ways, but y'all gotta detach, bro. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta um, stay focused, man. Stay focused, bro. But I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one, man. I just wanted to, wanted to give y'all a little bit of faith, let y'all know what's up. <clears throat> All right, man.